right, we're gonna go see if the claw machines have different clubs. Most likely not. They they just don't change out that much. And I can see it is ET, which we got last time. And Pink Panther still. So no, don't need that. Don't need that. Yahtzee, a ball over there, no, Sonic the Hedgehog, no, alright Robert, what do you want to do now, they took away the Beanie Boo claw machine, remember it used to be like you could win Beanie Boos, you know, you want me those cute little fishies and stuff, I think they changed it to tickets and more, Alright, do you want to play that tower of tickets or you want to, let's try it, let's try it, let's see how bad their tower tickets is. And then we'll go back to finish it out with Willy Wonka. Do you want blue, red, green, or yellow? Alright, so we don't know how bad this one is. It's a dollar ten a swipe. We gotta give it up. Let's see if they're good or if they're too heavy. Well, it's a little quicker than yellow. Oh, oh, oh! That was close. It's I don't feel like it was too it's heavy. It's actually pretty quick, so. Okay, you wanna try it again? Yeah, let's give it a whirl. Alright, so there you go. Oh, I gotta wait for it to get back oh. to us. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's gonna time know, out. I don't know what's gonna happen. I see it's not it's in a weird it's in a weird position. Don't know what to tell you, honey. I don't know if this machine times out. Okay, we'll find out. Ooh, there it is! A thousand. Awesome. Yo mama. Oh my god, that's even better Yo than mama. Oh wait a minute. Oh well, my we gotta, god. We gotta get it. Oh. I'm waiting for it to add it to the card. It don't work like that. No wonder these look like Pizza Heck. People carry them around. They carry them around like they're, they're toys. And there's no like sound that told no. you you won. You want to try it again? Yeah, one more. That was in tickets. That's better than your two beanbag jackpots. Yeah, it was. All right, there you go. Space Invaders. Yellow, old yellow. No push whatsoever. No. All right, walk away. Walk away. Walk away. We got our that thousand, was... We got our million thousand tickets. All right, let's let's do really one. Oh. All right, I think we have a new goal. This machine right here is a ninety thousand tickets. I thought it was cardboard. It's not. It's not cardboard at all. So. But we're gonna leave. I'm hungry. I played everything I wanted, and now we have a new goal. So I think we ended up with 10,000. Well, we have 10,000 on our cards. We won like 3,000 tickets today. So not bad. And we still have money left on our card. We'll come back next week. Um, yeah, we'll come back next week. I agree. The Willy Wonka. Uh, they definitely have changed their settings. It's not as easy to win the cards like it has been. But that's okay. I don't mind the challenge. I'm still gonna play Willy Wonka because that is the only. This is the only arcade in St. Louis that has a Willy Wonka. So and as you can see, I did not play DC Coin for sure today because wasn't in the mood to be depressed. But oh well, I think we did pretty good. Thank you. So. All right, we're leaving Kokomo Joe's. That's Kokomo Joe's behind us. Um, it was a nice visit. I, I actually really enjoy Kokomo Joe's. I do get worried when it's not busy. 
hope they don't close down. I just can't imagine they have enough business. The parking lot's very confusing. I just hope they have enough business to stay in business because I would be crushed if this arcade closed down. It's just never busy when I get here, but I also come at odd times, so that could be why. Oh my God, where is the exit? Mm. This is the worst parking lot in the entire world. Everyone's circling around. Where is the exit? It's one of those parking lots that has like one exit, not like five, like most big ones do. So anyway, um, we decided to hold off and try to get 90,000 before someone else does because that arcade game, um, I know you couldn't really see it very well on my video because it's high on a top shelf, but it does look like it's made out of wood, not cardboard. Uh, Dave and Buster's has a version that you put together yourself out of cardboard um, that lets you play classic arcade games. And this looks so much better than that. It looks like it's heavy duty wood. Um, and I don't know. The thing is with Kokomo Joe's, a lot of their bigger prizes, they only have one. And so you have to be the first to claim it before someone else does. So I think we're just gonna have to <clears throat> step up our Kokomo Joe's visits and On come- Double Point Tuesday. Double Point Tuesday. Well, we're not gonna go tomorrow because it's a busy week, but <clears throat> we're gonna start doing Ticket Tuesdays because, so on Ticket Tuesdays, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a frog in my throat. They do not count the coin pushers. Like if you cash in, any of those on the coin pushers, it's not double tickets. If you cash in your cards, they're not doubling it. They only double it on the carnival games, which, you know, Robert gets being back tossed. So if he got 500 um, jackpot, he'd actually get a thousand. So all those carnival games that he enjoys, he would get double tickets. Um, and I, I don't know. I, I don't even, it, it could just be the carnival games. It might not be like the tower of tickets or the claw machines. I feel like they do limit, but you know. I wish they would let the, the on the beanbag toss, I wish they would let the, the, the score be lower when you get there. Because yeah. I know nobody has played <clears throat> well, that. no, and for both machines to be exactly at 69, it tells me that they set it that way, uh, which Most is. places it's like in the 30s or 20s. Yeah, when you start, and off. When you start off. No one, no one played it to 69. No. Um, one of the workers said it at that and that's their prerogative right. that's fine it's just annoying um, I've I love Kokomo Joe's I don't like to complain about it but I have had um, um, I got a jackpot on uh, the um, ski ball I don't even play ski ball anymore because I was so irritated with them they they weren't gonna honor it because it didn't give it to me and they're like oh that's machine is preset we bought it like that we don't do jackpots on that and I'm like well then you should have like covered it up because it says I could win a jackpot so they gave it to me but I had to bitch about it and so um, I gave them a second chance and I'm glad I did the next times they were super nice but it did ruin ski ball for me I won't play ski ball there I actually don't play ski ball anywhere anymore because it just really ruined it for me um, but uh, they they buy their machine they buy machines all the time like their machines are changing like they don't even have that spongebob water one anymore i don't know if they trade with people or whatever but <clears throat> they do buy they buy used machines they buy new machines they trade machines with people and that whole ski ball fiasco was they're like well we bought it like that it was you know they, that previous owner had it set we're not honoring that and i'm like yes you are so it's it was fine they gave it to me but i i had to complain i don't like complaining i don't like being you know that person um but i will if i have to <laughs> so anyway I, luckily I forgave them because I do like Kokomo Joe's and they have awesome prizes. And that was a couple years ago and we've never, we've not had a bad, ex yeah, we've not had any bad experiences since then. But what Robert is saying is you can obviously tell they're presetting their machines. Like when he won the Tower of Tickets, you could tell and as soon as he won that thousand tickets, the sensitivity of the arm was gone. And it was slower. And it was slower. Much slower. So it's, it just tells you that Maybe Tower of Tickets is also a payout machine. So, and that was like, we didn't realize that. Didn't know that. Didn't know that, but he got a thousand tickets. So, anyway, I'm rambling again. Um, yeah, <clears throat> I really want the arcade game now. Uh, so, I don't even know if it had any games I recognized. I think it had Centipede on it. I know Centipede. It had Asteroids. I know Asteroids. That's good enough for me. That's good enough for us. So, I don't know. It could, it might be end up being like the Branson Heart, Heart break. Um, if you watch my Branson videos at Bigfoot, we have been saving for the Yeti cooler and someone beat us to it. Um, so that's what could happen here. Someone might beat us to that arcade game. So we'll see. We're at 10,000 tickets. Um, and that's, 
And that's actually only 10,000 for two visits because we weren't even trying last time. I think if we put our mind to it, we could get it like in a month. I really think so. This is this is why I like to hoard my tickets because you it never know. Good. We just I know. never know. It, it, with that one time when you see something. I know. I should, but hey, I'm not regretting my cake squishy. That is an awesome no, squishy. But yes, I mean, maybe I'll start. Like yeah. The and something thousand I know. I've got. I'm not spending them yet. Hey, I'm up to 50,000 tickets. Yeah. I could get something nice. I don't know what yet. But yeah, I guess there is a benefit to hoarding tickets. So if you know you're going to go to our arcade a lot, yes. Don't waste your time on the small prizes. Save up for the big prizes. So the only time we like cash in the most for little ones is it's, if it's an arcade on vacation that we know we're never going to go back to. Um, so like Andra Andrade's? Andretti's? Andretti's when we went to Orlando last time. We're going to Orlando next week. We're not going to Andretti's again. I haven't decided what arcade we are going to go to. Um, but I just, Andretti's was nice. If you want to visit it, visit it. But it's not one I would repeat. Um, just, I don't know, watch my videos if you're interested. I, I know it's a chain, but there's no chains near us. So if it was a chain that was near us, I probably would hoard those tickets. But it's just not one. To me, it was nothing special. Um, prices were a little higher. It's not one I would repeat. But Dave and Buster's, that's my goal. To visit like every Dave and Buster's in the US. Because <laughs> they're all good. Even the ones that don't allow coin pushers. Some states don't allow coin pushers. So, but I haven't been to a Dave and Buster's I didn't like yet. So anyway, um, that's it. We're going home. We have, an we have something to be at two. And then the Blues play hockey tonight. Let's go Blues. <laughs> yeah, no one gets it. Sorry, you have to be a St. Louis fan. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> Please hit the like and subscribe button as my husband laughs at me, and I will see you later.